Welcome to my series of All About, where I talk about a subject for 5 minutes or less. If you would like to suggest a subject, then please put it in the comments below or reach out to me on Discord. This one is all about centipedes. If you can imagine the very bowels of hell opening up and spitting out a creature of unimaginable horror, then you would be close to the terror that Mother Nature gave us via evolution, the centipede. Chilopodophobia is a real thing and for a good reason. All centipedes have venom, the large ones have no problems biting through human skin and injecting that venom. That and the fact that it can run at 1.3 feet per second should be enough to terrify the best of us. Unless you have a severe reaction to centipede venom then you're not going to die from a bite and for most people it'd be like being stung by a bee. For others it would be intense localised pain, swelling and redness for up to several days. In extreme cases anaphylaxis, cardiac ischemia and other issues may be suffered and death is also possible result. You have been warned. Centipede literally translates to a hundred feet but just as in millipedes this isn't a correct assumption and Pleurus pedis or many feet would be a better name for these creatures as most centipedes don't support a hundred legs. Unlike millipedes, centipedes legs protrude from the side at one pair of legs per segment. This enables them to move much faster than their cousins which they need to be able to do as they are indeed hunters in the night. If you are able to sleep with one eye open, don't have any other pets and are completely insane then you may keep a centipede as a pet. These creatures are not to be taken lightly and a vast amount of research should be completed before even considering it. Unlike subscribing to my channel which is less dangerous, you may also click the notification bell without any research whatsoever and you will never miss any videos in this series. The one centipede on everyone's lips, or hopefully not, is the Scolopendra gigantica which is thankfully found far away from me in the Amazonian regions of South America. There they prey on a smorgasbord of invertebrates, reptiles and small mammals such as birds, mice and bats. Some of them go to the extreme lengths to catch their dinner, hanging upside down in caves waiting for a meal to be delivered to their jaws. Even though the Scolopendra gigantica is a foot long, packs a mighty punch in its venom, and can eat its way through the animal kingdom, it is not the worst of them out there. The Scolopendra Heros or giant desert centipede takes gold in this Olympics race. Again, I feel quite safe in my bed in England, knowing that the beast is nowhere near me. It reigns supreme in the arid and semi-arid areas of northern Mexico and the good old USA. Good luck with that one. Keeping centipedes is a tricky business and should only be attempted with those with the great power and knowledge of the creatures and their habits and Spider-Man taught us all that with great power comes great responsibility. Centipedes are fast and can squeeze into small gaps and are very good at hiding, coming out to play when you least expect it. If you lose one in your house and it is warm enough they will survive on the things you never see. These animals are available and legal to keep in most of Europe and USA and possibly other countries that I didn't bother checking. They need an arid environment, a steady supply of food and a form of heat, preferably a heat pad placed on the side of the enclosure, not the bottom as they tend to burrow down and will be cooked. My final thoughts on this subject are do not buy or capture one of these animals to keep as a pet unless you know exactly what you're dealing with beforehand. And that's all I have to say about centipedes. Thanks for watching. <laughs>